Hi, this is just a quick video um, about how to set up the um, Anapot. So when you get your Anapot, there's two parts. There's the, obviously, Anapot itself, and there's a cable. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually um, get hold of the software. So there's a page on the website. To get to it, if you're at the home page, go to Knowledge Base, go to Software, and you hear it is. So I'll click this. So here it comes, it's downloading. Right, so there it is. So I'm going to click this um, setup. I clicked it twice then, so that wasn't too smart. Uh, well, I'll remove the one I've got. Right, now I'll install. I've already got the version on my computer, so that's why I basically did a, I did a remove. So I've already got it on my computer, so I removed it. Now I'll do an installation. It's asking me if I want to put it into a certain default folder, which is fine. I'll make it available for everyone. Now I don't want to send data back and forth. It would be nice if I did, but I'm not going to. Right, so now I'll go to my um, my desktop, and what I'll do is I'm going to um, launch it. Right, and it says a new version is available, so I'm actually going to download that. It's putting it in a different folder. So I'll, I'll accept that. So I'm actually, I am, I, I've sort of gone to the website, I've downloaded an old version, but actually what I'm doing is now immediately get myself the new version. So I want you to do the same. Get, I'll get this. I'll get this in this plugin that they suggest. <laughs> I know what this is. This is basically there's old versions of software, new versions of software, and. They want me to put this plug-in into my computer. Close this window and install and then run again. Okay, that's nice.
complete this installation before proceeding with this install. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to close some things down. And then what I'll do is I'll go to my downloads folder. Have a look at this guy again. All right, okay, well that was successful that time. All right, now I'm gonna, um, now I'm gonna restart this installation of PS Trace. Right, so it's been successfully installed. Okay, cool. Right, and I see a 5.3 version here. Right, so I've got this PS Trace 5, Zimmer you got logo there, good. Loading, loading, loading. Right. Now I'm going to change the camera slightly and um, position it. Show you what's going on down here. So this is the one I'm sending you, or one that you'll be getting that's um, very similar. So what I'm doing now is I've plugged one end of the USB obviously into the other pot and plugging the other USB straight into the computer, not through a via hub or anything like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just drag this slightly because I suspect what will what will happen is there'll be um, well what's going to happen is there'll be a little beep as it installs the drivers. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go to device manager. Right, so I brought up device manager. The reason I brought up device manager is I just want to check um, USBs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this a few times and just see if my, at the moment I count, well I can basically see it there. I believe that that's it there. So if I pull it out, now I've been, right, so I'm going to pull it out and then I'll scan down. Yeah, so it disappears. Now, I'm obviously... I'm lucky because I've already got the drivers on there. If I had an error message here that said like unknown device, then I would have to, um, I would have to basically go here and um, I'd actually have to navigate to the drivers. I don't really want to do this now because I've got it installed, but basically in the, um, you would have to go to the error message. I'm just going to, um, show you on the on your PC where those where those drivers actually would be. So where they would be is is here. You'd be looking in your program files here, and then you would be looking for the drivers and and, the, and you would basically you would tell Device Manager you would sort of right click on this and you would 
go and find the drivers and you would navigate it to here and I would just put it on the 5.3 and it'll probably find the drivers then. So um, I, for me, most of the, the only thing that really goes wrong is finding the drivers. Uh, I would also say if you really get stuck, it's not a big issue because um, I'll invite, whoops, I'll invite you to a meeting. Um, so if we go to Zimmer and Peacock, I'll basically invite you to an online meeting, which is contacts, virtual meeting room, and then you can basically join my meeting room and we can talk online with each other. Um, so I've kind of got my, um, so let's just do a recap. So this is in, it's plugged to the computer, the drivers are good. The, um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relaunch the software. That's it. And it's found it. So that's an that's a new option now. So I'm gonna update this, I'm gonna update the firmware. That's just what's happened here is we've got a um, a new version of the software and it wants to do it wants to update the firmware so I've just allowed it to update the firmware. Right, so it says it's connected. I can see this little light down here that says it's connected. What I'll do is I'm gonna run very quickly and get a sensor. Now I'll stick a sensor in the front and just check that this is functioning correctly. I say sensor, I mean electrodes. So I'm just going to do a sort of slightly crude um, test of this. My cycle voltammetry will have an equilibrium time of two seconds. We'll have a start at 0 volts, we'll go to 0.5 volts, um, we'll then come down to um, minus 0.5 volts, um, we'll have a stepping voltage of um, 5 millivolts, we'll have a nice high scan rate, we'll do, two, we'll do three scans um, and we'll go. I might check the, um, it's basically gone out of range, so I'll, um, I'll stop it for a sec. So I'm going to um, stop this experiment in a minute, but I'll do a quick recap. All right, so that experiment is running in the background, and the recap is this. 
software. Go to um, knowledge base, go to software, download the Lisa, Lisa Analytics. It'll download the software, start it. There's an executable file there. You'll download it, you'll install using the executable file. As soon as you open the software, do an update. Um, so you've got on the most recent version. I just, you know, I just, the updates are coming all the time. So I just did an update then. Um, then plug in the device. You might, the only thing you might have is, is sometimes it can't find the, the drivers, at which point you have to use device manager to go and find the problem. And then you have to navigate to the drivers. If you get stuck at that point, then we can do it online. Um, I have an online room and I can share my screen with you and talk you through that. There was actually one thing, you know, I plugged it in, it, it was, it did actually dis determine that actually I was on an old version of firmware, so it did an update for me. So you might meet that as well. Um, just accept it and then you're good to go. And then let's run. Okay, so I will, um, if you have any questions, um, you know where, you know, contact us at Zimmer and Peacock. We're more than happy to support you. It's really important that you have a good experience with what we're giving you, both on the sensor side and the um, electronic side. And yeah, any questions, give us a shout. Okay, thanks very much. Take care.